And while the original global warmer sits in the corner waiting for some love, the global warmer too has been handed the baton. How dare you! I broke Doris. Five, four, three, two, one. Only is go. <laughs> G'day and welcome back to the channel. Yep, I broke Doris. It's been progressively happening over a period of time. The initial uh, injury occurred at Rattletrap a few years ago. And then, I mean, I've hardly driven it. And then I took it on the test run a little while back. And it was a long drive, and she's finally just too rattly and too noisy to do anything else with it, apart from pull it out and replace it. What we're going to do is take it for one last dance. I'll let you have a listen if we can pick up the uh, the sound of this engine rattling away, and um, we'll pull her out. We'll uh, put this other engine back together, and we'll swap it all over. There's no doubt about these old engines. This hasn't been running for ages and she fired straight up. But she sounded more like a Kubota diesel than a uh, Model A at the moment. Let's take it for a spin. So it's time to say goodbye to the global warmer. We'll pull this bad boy out. She's not going to die. She's going to live on. Um, so what I want to do now, I need to drag this motor out of storage over there. And uh, I've got to put a valve in it because I've got a burnout valve. Um, put it back together. Give it a lick of paint. Can you hear that? Got dirty rats. I've got dirty rats living in that cupboard right there. There's my pooch. Let's try and catch one of these guys. Get in. Get in. So, this motor, good girl, this motor, I've been calling it new or fresh, or whatever I was calling it. It's just a really good motor. I bought it um, a while back. I pulled the, um, the caps off. All the uh, babbits are in good condition. There's no play in any of those. They've all been checked. All the bores seem all right. Uh, 
that's just muck, oil and other stuff. They're all clean. I do have a burnout valve, which I'm going to replace just there. So I'll need to get that valve cover off. We'll rip the valve out and I've got some spares. We'll chuck it in, adjust it up. There's the valve train on a side valve. The valves aren't in the head. They're in the block. And the valves run directly off the camshaft, which is here. So we'll find our dodgy one. We'll pull her out. I do have a tool somewhere to do that, that I made up. We'll replace it, lap it in, adjust it, throw it all back together. There you go. One very burnt out valve. Exhaust valve. So we'll find another one of these, which I've got a few laying around. And throw her in. The valve's in. They're a punish of a job. On these old girls but there's the new one now for the fun part cleaning gasket surfaces and the rest of it cleaning 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 it's not going to clean itself let's get into it <laughs> See that but she's 40 thou over and they even stamped it into the block this is why a lot of folk put um High compression heads on their bangers you could pretty much crawl in there and hide they've got about zero to one compression good old faithful reliable she's going on give her a clean up wondering why I didn't clean it while it was all apart it's because it's open I haven't stripped the motor completely apart so I don't want to get all crap in everything so motors together I can seal it now I can seal all the exhaust 
and uh, intake ports, everything, I can chuck rags or plastic bags, whatever else, and I can clean it properly without any fear of anything getting into the engine, into the internals, which is the probably worst thing that could happen. That's come up pretty good. We'll let that dry and then we'll give it a lick of paint. What colour you reckon? Black. Black. Okay, black. This is how you re condition an engine. Starter mode has been reconditioned. Ripper. Let's not fat about. Knackered. The sun's beating the hell out of me, so I'm going inside for a rest for a few hours till the heat settles down. Then I'll come out and get back into it a bit more. Righto, so motor's in. I've just connected up the electricals. Now it's time to test the starter motor, see if this one's any good. I've whipped the other one off the other motor just in case. Fingers crossed. There's nothing wrong with this one. Let's see what happens. Yeah. 
perfect. Here's a little fact, with your water neck on a Model A, never use a gasket, you will crack the housing. Just trust me on that one, just use some good sealant, as long as it's in good condition it'll seal. That side's done. Just got to put the uh, radiator in and the manifolds. And we should be able to fire it up, but I'm not doing that today. It's about to get dark and I'm tired. I've been going all day and the sun has beaten me up. So I'll catch you tomorrow. It's tomorrow. It's the downhill run now. Chuck these manifolds on, radiator, some water, some oil, crank her over, and hopefully we'll be going for a spin. Let me show you a little trick. If you ever want to find out where the center of your car is, like the dead center of your car, all you do is drop a spanner down the engine bay and it will land in the dead center of your car. Watch this. See that? Dead center. Every time without fail. So we're all done. Everything's back together. I'll put some water in it and some oil. We'll start it up and hopefully we can take it for a spin. Moment of truth. My licks. It'd help if I can. It'd help if I connected the coil. Righto, try again.
timing. quiet compared to what I'm used to. Beautiful. Right, eh? Got my tripod in here. Let's see how that holds out. Brakes, a clutch. See how good all this stuff works, eh? Well, we got clutch, it works.
couldn't have called it anything else. So that's it from me for this one. All sorted out, ready to go. Hope you enjoyed that. A little bit longer than usual. Like, subscribe. Be good to your mates. Don't be a dingus. Say good day to your mum for me. How dare you! And I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. And there's the original global warmer sits in the corner waiting for some love. The global warmer too has been handed the baton. How dare you! And she's ready to rock and roll, baby. Thanks for your service, champion. You're not going to be forgotten, my friend. You'll be back on the road soon. Cheese.